Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel. Today we are back with another instalment of our Race into Glory series. You may be wondering why I'm starting on this screen. It's because I was just recording the video when I decided, uh, well, when I decided to get a cold call on my mobile which completely ruined the start of the video. I say I decided, I didn't decide, but I answered it obviously because it, my phone was going off and that ruined the start of the of, of my first attempt at this video so this is my second attempt um, as you can see nothing has happened since the last video obviously because we have the massive combined counties premier cup game in the semi-finals against Hamworth Villa and then a huge game in the league against Hamworth Villa um, who are top of the table uh, and, and yeah we're gonna we want to get into the game um, hopefully no more interruptions the team we are putting out there today to hopefully pick up the victory you know fingers crossed we can get the win is uh tommy dyche in goal we have a back four of summer skill color name the bird blackwell and sketchley we have thistleton artwell bolton and sturdy in midfield and Eze on i was going to say Eze on the right because i'm so used to playing a 4 3 3 but Eze and Awusu up front, Eze not playing on the right today, he's playing up front with Awusu due to the fact we're playing a 4-4-2. Now, I'm not too fussed if we win this game or not. Um, to be honest, I, I wouldn't mind actually not winning it in the sense that this series is, or this season. Because you might be wondering why there was a bit of a lag there. Um, why it sort of cut out and now I've sort of cut back in again. It's because, just to update you on the situation, second cold call of the morning. Uh, it's only half past 11. And, uh, and yeah, that's two in the space of five minutes. Not very happy with it, but, you know, we'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, only just because, you know, normally I'm not too fast, but it's just interrupting my video. Trying to record this video. Phone keeps going off. Not at all happy. But hopefully, I said this last time, but hopefully that will be an end to the interruptions. And we can get on with these two massive games against Hamworth Villa. Eze threw on goal now, has the shot. Good save from their goalkeeper, Price. It was great build-up play from Ascot United. Really sort of coming into the game in the past five minutes or so. We didn't start off very well at all, um, in all fairness. Hamworth Villa doing very well at the start of this game. But hopefully we can get a bit of a foothold in the game now and, and try and sort of play how we want to be playing and, and you know, really take have an effect on the game and take take the game into our own hands. They've had a header that's gone just wide of the post. I'm not too happy that they've, you know, been able to get the header, but obviously they didn't score. And as I am saying that, of course, the football manager gods have decided that we're going to get them to score from a header, which is brilliant. Um, but yeah, not to worry, obviously, this is the semi-final of the tournament. Obviously, you know, I wouldn't be too disappointed if we lost this game. I want to win the league game more than anything against this lot. So, you know, because the league is important, we need to win the league um, and it is slipping away from us. So, yeah, I'm not at all fussed about this game. That let them beat us, full sense of security sort of thing, and then we'll beat them in the league um, at their place. Obviously, they're coming to us today. Um, the race course ground, doesn't seem to be many people there, but as you can see, what I would like to say is perfect from the Ascot fans. Look at them, all socially distanced um, in the current climate. We're taking it into Football Manager. The fans are socially distanced. Fair play to them. What a bunch of legends. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Literally. I mean, the size of the ground compared to the fans we get is just ridiculous in the sense that, I mean, you could probably sit and count up in about 30 seconds, how many fans are here today? Um, but yeah, all socially distanced, which is very good. <laughs> um, oh yeah, of course, you know, obviously time's tough at the moment, so kick back and relax with some quality football manager content uh, that, we, you know, this video, we've got a whole Race into Glory series playlist on the channel. We've got the Save and the Tigers with Gloucester City save on the channel and we have a save starting off up with Arsenal um, and we've we've been you know at Arsenal and two other clubs since we started the saves there's another three playlists but it's all one series of like six, uh, 50 or 60 episodes you know there's so much content on the channel that you could be watching um, and just forgetting about all the rubbish that's going on in the world at the moment obviously it's all been very tough and, and that, but yeah, so just concentrate on your on the football manager on YouTube, you know what I mean? 
Um, not really playing very well today, going back to back to the game. We're going to bring Davis on for Bolton, who's not having the best of games in central midfield. Davis has been a right letdown since we signed him. He's been absolutely dreadful, uh, and, it's, and it shows. We are going to bring Sanger on, just because we could still grab... I say a point, we're not even... We're not even playing in the league. I don't know why I said a point, but we could grab something from this game. I don't know if it goes straight to penalties or extra time, but they haven't put us away in the sense that they've got the lead. They're playing, you know, they're dominating possession and having some chances, but they're not putting us, they're not finishing us off. You know, another goal, another two goals, and that's game over. Um, but, of course, as I'm saying that, the, the, the ref is playing the full-time whistle, and we've lost the game. Um but, you know, semi-finals, I mean, I think it's a tournament they didn't really care about the board. Not important, yeah. So it gets to semi-finals, a tournament they deem not important, I'm quite happy with. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's it sucks that we lost, but, you know, we now have four days to concentrate on somehow trying to beat this Hamworth Villa team in the league. Because if you look at the league table... If we don't win this game, to the, if they beat us, basically, they're on 65 points. We have a game in hand. We can get to 56 points. It's too much of a gap. If we win today, we're on 56, they're on 62. We win our game in hand, we're on 59, they're on 62. It opens it all up. We have to keep the pressure on Hamworth Villa and Penistone Church. It's just... We have to, so we have to win this next game. It's going to be so important. It's crunch time in not just this season, but the whole of this saving the t saving the Tigers. That's Gloucester. The whole of this race into glory series comes down to this game. We have to win because we have to. Like we need to get promoted. We need to win this division because um, this is the third season. Things aren't going well. You know, we've got the new football manager game FM Twenty One coming out soon. I want to get some success from this series before, obviously, we end it. I mean, at the end of this series, at the end of this season, this could be the series over if we don't don't get promoted. Um, so yeah, we need this a lot, to, and literally in just a second, we, we we will be ready for that game in the league against Hamworth Villa. Yes, guys, as we said, we're we'll back with this second game of the video against Hamworth Villa. Perhaps what is possibly being described as the Biggest game, not just of this save, but of all the all the games I've played on Football Manager 20 this year. This is, could be the biggest game out of all of them. We have to win. I'm literally so nervous right now. Um, and yeah, the team we're putting out there today to hopefully do it is Bilson in goal. We have a back four of Walker, Cullinane the Bird, Roberts and Calder. We have Young, Bolton, Davis and Lawrence in central midfield with Eze and Sanger up front. Eight changes to the team today. Putting out a strong side. They only just beat us with um, with like our reserve team sort of thing um, that we played in the last game. And I mean, obviously, I don't know like their players that they played for that game. Whether or not they were like backup players as well. So like their backup team versus our backup team. But, you know, if not, then they only just beat our reserve side. This is our full strength side. We should win on that theory alone. But obviously we know things aren't like that. Sanger got through there past the defence. But it was a dodgy angle. And, and the easy save for their goalkeeper to make. Um, and, and yeah, this, this this is huge. People say, you know, you know, you just need to avoid defeat. Avoid defeat. We can't in this game. This is the perfect opportunity to gain three points on a team that have been literally unbeatable. And Elliot Bolton's gone and got himself sent off. I cannot believe what is happening here. Like, do you know what I mean? This is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm trying really hard not to swear. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm trying really hard because that is just an absolute disgrace. I'm fuming. Oh, I'm absolutely fuming. We get to this point in the season and he does that. And it's like... What's the point? I mean, what am I going to do now? I'm going to have to bring a striker off for Artwell. Eze's coming off for Artwell. Now look. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe he's gone and done that. What an absolute disgrace. You know, we've got vultures 
flying around us, waiting for us to, you know, fall and fail, and then they're going to take our players. I had so many, like, offers for our players. But there's the goal. Literally, I was literally just moaning my head off there. Um, I hadn't even finished. I had so much more to say. But Sanger has scored his 16th of the season. The assist from Ricardo Calder. What an absolute legend. If this is the winning goal, which obviously it's not going to be because we're only 36 minutes in, then I would be so happy. That video of Alan Pardew dancing um, in that cup final against Man United for Crystal Palace, that would be me on the sidelines if this game finishes 1-0 to us. Literally. I'm not even joking because this is... I, I'm, I can't express how much this, this one match means to me. Like, this is the biggest match of this whole like game, of the whole Football Manager 2020 game, all the games that I've done, all the videos, this is the most important um, for the survival, the survival of Ascot United and our Racing to Glory save. Because literally, if we don't get promoted this season, I can't see how we move this this save on. I really can't because we'd, we'd have, th I mean, they've scored. Brilliant. They've scored. That is game over because we've got 10 men. I mean, what can we do with 10 men? I mean, it's a cr another cross into the box I'm not too happy with. Um, who's marking him? Who is marking Chapman, their goal scorer? He's literally just run round the back and headed it in. And there's no one there. Going to have to rethink some things. Um, but as I was saying, how, how are we going to move this save on if we don't get promoted this season? We've had three chances at promotion. Three goes at it. They could be actually quickly, they could be having a player sent off here. Their man's been booked. There's the second yellow card. It's 10v10 now. That is a big boost. I'm going to tell the lads to show some passion because that is huge what's just happened there. We're now on a level playing field. 1-1, one, one, level playing field in the terms of players. Obviously, they're the home side, so you'd think they may have a slight advantage. But 10v10, anything can happen now. They're attacking well. I mean, how many times do we want to clear that one? I mean, literally two or three attempts to clear. Um, they've got a corner kick, but they didn't score it. So you could say good defending in the defending, but how we didn't get that clear, I don't know. I'm not even showing their corner. I don't even know what happened there. The highlight finished as the ball was crossed in. Um, but yeah, they're on the attack again now. Um, it, it's not looking too good, our performance, compared to their performance. Since they've gone down to 10 men, they're looking better than us. I mean, it's level playing field, 10v10. Come on, we need to get back into this game. Um, and, and yeah, I don't know if it's coming across on the video how much this game means to me, this one match, like this is, this is huge and we need to be doing better than we are at the moment. Byron Lawrence is having a poor game, so we're going to bring Archie Sturdy on, a bit of a risk, I think Byron Lawrence is more preferred to that position, but he's not playing well, there's no point in keeping someone out there that's sort of not doing it for us and working for the team. Good demand more because we just noticed that Penistone Church are tuning up in their game. Um, we we need to win this game. I can't stress how important this is, and we're just oh my god, Jake Walker's going to give them a penalty away. And Chapman's the goal scorer for the first one. Has scored for the penalty. I literally cannot be asked for this anymore. I mean, every year, there's that one team that just absolutely blitzes everyone else. Do you know what I mean? Jersey Bulls did it. Hamworth Villa are doing it. And it's like, where are they coming from? Where are these teams coming from? Because we should be the best team in this division. The money we've spent on wages now, we should be the best team in this division. And we're not. Sanger's scored. I'm not even going to celebrate it because it's 2-2. We would be winning at this point if Jake Walker hadn't have lost his head completely just lost his brain and given a penalty away like an absolute idiot um, and and yeah I mean obviously that's not the Jake Walker the real Jake Walker, I'm not calling the real Jake Walker wherever you are an idiot I'm calling your, your character or your player in this game an idiot because he's given a penalty away um, and Calder's had a free kick that's gone wide what are we going to do what are we going to do? We're going to do a shout. We're going to show some passion again. Like, come on, this is the biggest game of these boys' career. And we're just literally not doing it. We're not performing. We need to be winning this game of football. Sanger now on the ball. He runs through. There's a goal for Sanger. Praise you, Sanger. He's only gone and scored. Um, yeah, wow. I literally, that is... 
Could we do it? Could we do this and get the win? Sangay got on the ball from the throw. He passed it back to Calder, um, who played it through. Is that another assist for Ricardo Calder? These two are linking up so well. Their goalkeeper is going to be disappointed being beaten at the near post. But that could be it. We could, could we do this? This would be the great escape. Just winning this game after you know going down to ten men, then being two one down, and you know, wow. Sangare's drawn goal. He shoots. There's the fourth goal. Fazu Sangare assist from Jake Walker. He's made up for his penalty mistake, and we have done it. Literally in the dying moments of the game, 87th minute of this game, just capitalising the free kick over the top. Sangare first time the half volley back of the net. That's how we do it, at Ascot. We, this could save this series. Literally, we are now six points away from Hamworth Villa with a game in hand on them. Wow, and there you go, Sanger with four goals. Who do you think he is? Andre Arshavin against Liverpool back in like 2009. Well, what is going on here? Feizu Sanger is an absolute legend. If you guys are doing, you know, a football manager save, just doing videos or just doing it in your, for fun in like a hobby in your spare time, just love playing the game, and you're doing like a lower league side, look at Feizu Sanger. OK, he is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely quality. And that is n that's not me being biased or anything. What I'm going to do, I mean, look at that. 16 appearances for us this season. He's got 13 goals and one assist. OK, his stats down here, as you can see, where the mouse cursor is moving down the bottom of the screen. I'm just going to leave it for a couple of seconds just for you to look. Um, and just to make sure that I, you know, make your own decision on him. Make sure that I'm not being sort of biased towards him. I mean, look, he's got, why in this, uh, this is just his league form. I mean, his overall goals, he's got, he's got 19 goals in 21 appearances. 21, what am I talking about? 23 appearances. Apologies for my rubbish maths. Um, I mean, the boy is absolute quality. He is, I mean, look at his stats. For, and he's just scores goals, 19 years of age. He's already had two caps for Liberia and got a goal. Five stars. I mean, he is quality. Literally. Um, so, yeah, just to prove I'm not being biased as he's my player. There's all the stats. There's all these like, attributes in the previous couple of... Um, that we've had on the screen, the previous seconds just gone. Make your own decision. To me, he's an absolute lifesaver. Four goals. Um, we will be back with the big game against Chatham in the Bill Base FA Vase fifth round. And probably this Nap Hill game. Um, but yeah, what an absolute legend Feizu Sanger is. I mean, he could have just saved not just our season, but the whole series right there Calder as well what a performance he's had um, and yeah absolutely ecstatic at the moment of how this has gone I hope you have enjoyed this video it's been a roller coaster of emotions for me yeah wow what a game what a video um, and yeah like I said I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for another video cheers